Welcome back to my channel. Shady here, you know, I'm shady. I'm literally already sweating. Can you can can we ignore the birds in the background? Got this box of makeup, right? That I bought the Christmas leading into 2022. So I bought it 2021 and it's been what? Two years? As I was looking at the viewfinder and not the lens. I'm guilty of doing that all the time anyway. Like, hmm, do I look okay? I got this from Sephora. Amazing. Been sitting in my cupboard for two years and has come with me through a move, right? So we, I figured I might as well film it. It's just like makeup products that I was like, oh my god, it's on sale. It looks good. Uh, let's get it. And then it sat in my cupboard for two years. So did I need it? Probably not. But yes. Moved houses. This is my new room. I still sleep on the floor. I don't want to, like, I, I want to buy a bed frame, but it's so expensive. And the one I wanted, I couldn't get because it wouldn't deliver here. And you can't pick up in store. So it's just, I just, I cried that day. Why do I look so weird? What about further back? I have full intent to decorate my room and make it a vibe and you'd be all nice and lovely. But right now, I just, I feel like filming. And financially speaking, I don't really have the funds to buy decorative items and bed frames and bedside tables and set it up. Even a TV isn't set up in our room yet. Like, I've been here for like a month. I got an Xbox from Jed and then that was it. Just gain it. Got my dogs here, gave up. Everything I need is right here, here. Anyway, let's get into the autumns. The amount of dust on this box, dreadful. I mean, I have looked through this like a thousand times forgetting that I own it. Like every few months I'm like, oh my God, what is this? Oh, what is that? That could be handy. I'd say I've used it then. Where did that go? Mark Jacobs, whatever this was. So to start it off with, I thought it would be such a cool aesthetic to get a candle and like with my aesthetically pleasing room, have a candle lit and film, but um, I'm not set up for that, but I still will light it, right? I got me a little gas lighter for the kitchen. Don't want to burn your finger where you light the stove. So this was Sweet Holiday Vibe. Bougie perfume scented candle. I can, I can read. Pick it up. It's the only thing in frame. Delicious candle with sweet vanilla notes to transform the holidays into an extra comfort moment. Lovely. Watch it smell like ass. Actually, no, nah, it's not bad. Sweet. What's the song? What are the lyrics? Stunning. What do I do with it now? Let's just get a box and like put it here. Is that Bergen? What about a container? Put it in frame, just floating candles. Does that work? No. I have hopes, you know? I had hopes. Oh my god. If I burn down the house, I'm so sorry. There you go, it's in frame. Ha! Ah! Yeah. Is this nice? That was Jed walking into the room. Scared the fucking shit out of me. I think we did rather well. We want the front the candle. Yeah. <laughs> It's like very basic stuff. I got some lipstick, some eyelashes, eye eyelashes. With the intent of this video, I want to unbox everything in the box, right? And then put on my face and we'll just have a discussion about things. Or just mainly me talk about New Year's and resolutions. I'm gonna start off with this. When I bought this, this is what I was excited for. The Tattoo Lana Duel. Did it focus? And I was like, oh my God, it's like, a semi-permanent tattoo thing where I can put it on my eyes and then I peel it off or something and then it lasts for a few days like damn I need that in my life when I get up for work in the mornings and I get up at 6 30 and I do my eyeliner it's not a good time so I was like waterproof liquid eyeliner set right and that made me question things is it just water I need to google award-winning tattoo liner the ultra precise vegan liquid eyeliner to create the iconic cat eye and more Oh, KVD. What is KVD? What brand is that? Is it bad that I don't know? I was so excited for it to last for a few days. Maybe that's something that exists out there that I can try and achieve myself. Like, you can tint your eyebrows. Why not tint your eyeliner line? Of course I'm going to use the black liquid uh, coloured one because um, I, I wear black like every other day. So of course we've got to use it. One day I'll use brown. Maybe another two years away. And then we got a go big or go home mascara, volumizing mascara. What brand are you? I think it's KVD. There we go. Yes, yeah, KVD. Oh my god. KVD. Then we've got an empty box. Jacobs, um, enchant in in a in a mod. In a mod. In a in a mod. Anyone else just like 
prolonged the life of their hair just by curling it on the last day and putting a whole bunch of products in it and praying. That's what I did. Then we've got this massive box, right? It, it's a lip paint, right? It's a stun, stunner lip paint. It's by Fenty Beauty, by Rihanna, of course. And I got the shade Unattached. I, can you focus? Oh my, I'm too far away. See? I don't wear anything that bright. I don't know why I bought it. It's cute. You know what? This is why. It's aesthetically pleasing. Oh, my candle! <laughs> Fuck, that was scary. Maybe that's not the brightest idea. Anyway, it's there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's here. Um, I have to say, the actual colour and the colour in the box is not the same. But I got another Fenty Beauty. Mariana. I'm pretty sure this is the blue. Yeah, why the why the flippity flippity would I buy go deep blue lipstick? Like, was it a trend two years ago and why did I buy it? Absolute blue. Oh, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. It looks nice. I just, why did I buy it? False eyelash glue and I've got falsies. Put some falsies on just to hang around home. And then, uh, Sephora gave us their size up mascara every day big so on one eyeball I'll use this. It's been a few hours. Um, Dad's parents have come and gone. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon and um, I don't want to do makeup anymore but we're doing it. I'm sweating balls. I'm tired and I uh, got a Red Bull. Red Bull saved my life please. Ah. Now I'm sitting on the floor. You see this beautiful background? Got me palm sheets. Do you know I did palm? I do palm. I feel like there's always the girls that does their makeup on the floor with the mirror or the ones that do in the bathroom. And look, to be honest, our bathroom is fucking stanky. It's hot in there. Not stanky as in smelly, as in stanky hot. It's disgusting. The window in there doesn't open. So I just want to brush my eyebrows up first before we actually get face stuff on my face. Mm, forgot it does this. I need a new eyebrow gel. It looks really disgusting, actually. It does, yeah. Maybe I should buy a new one. Anyway, I've got no um, technique with this. I just kind of brush them up and pray. And I also don't pluck my eyebrows, so I can't be bothered. So we sort of just get like this messy eyebrow look. And I swear, I always find your makeup just be slapping, you know, when you're not actually needing to go anywhere and you just do it because you just want to do it, right? And the minute you need to go anywhere, your makeup just looks like shite. Um, I'm gonna light my candle again for ambiance. I really want this to be in frame. I always start with eyeliner first, so that's what we're going to do. And it says it lasts up to 36 hours. I could not not wash my face for 36 hours. Okay, Presi 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 let me just read the word again. What's the word? Where's the box? Ultra precise it is, honestly. Look at that line. Look at that line. Look, I've, don't, I've got no technique. My technique is sort of like get a Q-tip. I'll put some saliva on it and then just like wipe away everything you hate about what you've just done. And nine times out of ten, it's just the whole liquid eyeliner part. Honestly, how do people film makeup things? How? Eyeliner just sometimes sucks. After 15 minutes of trying to do eyeliner, we're still going. Also, I didn't realize, but let me get really close to the camera. I have like very veiny eye eyebrows. Veiny eyelids. See it? The purple? I didn't really notice that until just right now. It is ultra precise. I will confirm. Now, if you don't use it every day, you don't have a technique and you don't know what you're doing, like me, and you pray that it just works out fine, it doesn't really work for me for being ultra precise, right? Because I don't know what I'm doing. And then when I make these strokes or I blink and it's up on my eyelid, it's like, well, that wasn't very precise, was it? But like, if you use eyeliner every day and you know how to do it and you've got a technique, this is great. Buy this. I got that red lip, the red ball on my lip. I want to talk about New Year's resolutions, right? It's 2024 now. It's what, 6th of January? I haven't written them down or anything, which I probably should. I make a vision board. I'm not making fun of vision boards. Like I want to make one. It's just things that I want to work on, right? My main one is actually um, stressing less. I have a really really horrible problem with stressing, having a meltdown, crying, having a panic attack. And I really want to work on that primarily this year. And with the things that I want to achieve with YouTube and just, I don't know, making videos and getting stressed about it, like, then you shouldn't be making videos, right? But it's not just that that makes me stressed out. Everything does. 
everything makes me stressed out. So on top of that, so my first one is working on my stress levels. I don't know, meditating, working on that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing as of yet, but that's something I really want to do. I put a lot of pressure on myself to be perfect and being productive that when I'm not productive, I just, I'm just feeling guilty all the time in my relaxing time. I'm not relaxing. I just feel guilty and I'm kind of over it. So yeah, I really want to work on not feeling so stressed out. <coughs> That's the Red Bull. Number two for me is actually enjoying life. Being happy is a massive one for me. Like I live with my partner now. That is incredible. I'm so happy. But yet I always find the negatives in everything. In absolutely everything, right? When I first moved in, I've had all this pressure of I need to film, I need to be productive, I need to do this. And every time I've put that pressure on myself, absolutely wigged out, had a panic attack and didn't do anything. I should be enjoying it, right? Having fun with it. Who cares? Have fun. Life is so short. I'm so over this pressure and being perfect. I'm so flipping over it. I just... I want to have fun. If I want to go for a skateboard, I want to go for a skateboard. If I want to go on holidays, I want to play a game or anything. I just want to have fun and I want to enjoy life. I want to enjoy the little things. I have read before every night or every morning. I can't remember. You write three things that you're grateful for. And the other day I did that and I instantly felt better. Even simple things like having clean sheets on your bed or I don't know, your dogs or a cu like the cup that you love drinking out of for coffee. Whatever it may be, being grateful for things, I swear makes me feel better. I don't know why, it's like tricking my brain into seeing the good things so then my brain always sees the good things instead of the negatives. What is another New Year's resolution that I wanted to do? And then I think the next main one is being consistent with YouTube, but not to the point where I'm so stressed out that I can't cope. Yes, I want to get a video out every week. So then if I don't do that, then there's a cycle of guilt and stress and then trying to produce so much that I shut down and give up because that's what I do. I have this cycle where I will film and edit like aggressively, sit there and edit for like 12 hours straight, constantly pumping out content. And then I get to a point I'm like burnt out. But at the same time, there needs to be a good balance where I do take time off and it's scheduled time off. And if I don't post a video, it's not the end of the world. Right, so we got the Go Big or Go Home KVD mascara. It's thick. It's please focus. It is a thick, thick boy. I get really attached to my mascaras actually, and I will use them forever. I don't like change. On my left eye, this eye, I use that Go Big or Go Home mascara from KVD. It's so thick that it's almost too thick to like maneuver on my eyelashes. I had difficulty in getting the length I wanted in the first go, which is fine. And then the second coat, I achieved the length that I wanted. You want to see my eyeball? It's a bit clunky, but it has been sitting in a box for two years. I mean, overall, the actual applicator, good, like not much mascara comes down on the brush. Pretty easy to use. I didn't actually get any mascara on my eyelids on either side. That brings me to the right eye. I used the free sample that Sephora gave me, size up mascara and make it every day big. I will say this is some pretty dumb packaging. Um, oh, please like it. This right here, cute. I love the idea of the sample. It actually is quite a bit. It's quite a lot actually. Um, but when you open it, it's just there's so much mascara on the brush that's not actually showing you the extent of how it was when i first pulled that out i had to shove it back in the tube it was so much so the tube itself doesn't like stop the mascara all coming through but this is good i actually love this small applicator because the small applicator actually meant that i could get in there and get into spots that i really struggle with and can i say the length of the right eye it's actually such a better application, right? So on the left, it's like clunky and chunky as it goes up, but it's fine. Like it works, but on the right side, it just goes up and it like, like pointy. I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but it's, it's just a nicer application. Now for the hardest part, false eyelashes. There was a phase that I went through last year or the year before where false eyelashes had to be on every time I wore makeup. I don't really love them. It's just been too long for me to to use full strip lashes and I don't know how to do it anymore. 
And one thing I really like to do is get in there and make them flexible. If you're buying eyelashes from Shein, make sure you get in there and you rough them up. Otherwise, they're too stiff to maneuver. Ow, I pinched my actual skin. Look at that bitch. Not bad. They're cute. I do like them. I'm just not used to wearing strip eyelashes. And this is why I recommend wearing three quarters, right? The cat eye. Because if you go out drinking, this little bit here in the, the center, if you don't put enough glue on there, that bitch is gonna flat. If you're going on a boat party or something, you put a pack that glue on there or else they're gonna do this. And no one really wants that in the photos. Sephora has good lashes and I got volume. So take what you will with that information. Oh, my eyelids stuck to the glue. So the last thing is trying the lipsticks. Unattached. Can you please focus? What is this? Thank you. Pretty. Should I do one side blue and one side pink? <laughs> In what universe am I gonna be wearing blue lipstick? And I did so bad doing half and half. Why did I buy this? So, I look like a clown. On the right side I did this obviously and on the left I did blue. I don't really wear pigmented lipstick all that much. I wear like lip plumpers. I have like nice sized lips and I don't know why I wear lip plumpers but I like the tint it gives me because I get the lip tint plumpers. And on top of that, I like to kiss my boyfriend. And if I come to him like this and give him a kiss, I don't think he's gonna like that. Should I go kiss him? Do I look good? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and half. Are they, is it lipstick on both sides? I'm confused. It is. Can Definitely. I give you a kiss? No. <laughs> on the cheek, maybe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why am I scared? Close your eyes, you're gonna be in it, okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you look pretty! I don't wanna look. <laughs> like, this is pretty. It's just, I don't wear pigmented stuff like that much. And blue, it was just because it was on sale that I had bought it. I should dress up as Harley Quinn on my knees. Look, they're both wet and they're both sticky. This definitely dried a lot better. Um, and it, it is a nice color and the applicator was quite nice. It has like a really interesting like divot in it. And then the blue is just like a stick. Looks like a stick. Creamy little stick. That doesn't sound right either. They're cute. They lo I love the packaging it comes in. So, I mean, thank you for watching, I guess. Um, hope you had a good time. Have a good day. Good night. Something. Go to bed. <sighs> Something looks fucking funky. <laughs> That's on an angle. <laughs> It's hard for me to do two things at once. Stop looking at the viewfinder. Oh my god. Hi.